Hello guys, welcome back. So we got some parts today. Uh, real quick though, if you see a little bit of mess in the garage, don't worry about it because it's uh, Halloween season and we got all the decorations coming down and all that. Anyways, um, so we did get new parts, not for the GTR. Parts for the Q50 Sport. I've been meaning to get this for a while. Basically what it came down to is I had to replace the thermostat. I seen the stock stuff. It was broken. It was clogged. I'll say that. It was Clips were broken, the filter was clogged, so might as well just go ahead and do the upgrade. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Q50 real quick. I'm not going to work on it today. I just got off work. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little nicer, hopefully. So, But I'll show you some things that I did do with the Q50. Well, it's not so bad outside today, but I'm not prepared. My batteries aren't charged to do the install, so we're just going to do it tomorrow. What we did with the Q50, we replaced all four rotors. And then uh, I realized when I took the wheels off for the brakes, they were worn down. So then I had to go ahead and buy a whole new set of Michelin Pilot Sport 4s all season. So there we go. So yeah, we've been working on the Q50 Sport for a little bit. And I am getting a big surprise for the truck. I haven't been recording it because it's taken a lot to get the, the truck fixed. Place the CV axles the drive shaft um replace the tie rods as well and it's still making a lot of noise when i come when it comes down to what i think is next is the wheel bearing so i'm going to fix the wheel bearings and then if i actually get it fixed up it's not as embarrassing to drive then maybe we'll get some actual footage of the truck like i've been saying forever that will be a future video hopefully i feel up to it to actually record it this time but anyways now back to the q50 what we are doing parts for it here it is, DC Sports. So basically, I worked on the Q50 when I had the 32. We did a full carbon fiber delete, or we did a full chrome delete and replaced most of it with carbon fiber. The parts that didn't come in carbon fiber, I just wrapped black. We did an exhaust and then wheels and, and then I kind of stopped but now that I gotta do some more some wire and tear repairs might as well upgrade it as we do that especially because the price point so this isn't the most expensive or probably the best in tank system you can get for the 3.7 but the price was good the short rams not cold air but it will look a little better and honestly I think it would be better than the OEM stuff I don't know but visually it'll look better so might as well right so anyways, yep, we're going with the DC Sports. Now, as I said before, it's not the best one you could get. It's not the cheapest, but I recognize the name, especially from the original Needs for Speed Underground stuff. But it's still like 200 bucks cheaper than the AEM in tank, so I just went ahead and, and went for it. All one hand. So, short ram in tank. Insulation instructions. It should be honestly straightforward. Got some nice uh, hose clamps here. And man, whenever I open this stuff, I always forget what the heck these things are called. I'm just totally brain farting. Now I remember because I look at the directions. Couplers. We got some nice couplers. DC Sport logos on it. I've seen some stickers right, yeah, right here. Um, you probably got to put that on the in-tank itself, so... If that's the case, I'll throw them on after we do full install. Let's get rid of quality. Now, I did just get HKS on the GTR. They're probably not going to be as good, but definitely smaller, but uh, I mean, just aluminum, very light. Looks nice, shiny. And this, I don't know if you can see inside the screw holes, but screws don't seem to be stripped out. We got the actual air filters. Got the air filters here. And you know, honestly, they're not cold air, but neither is the one on the GTR. It's a real similar style, so it definitely will be good enough for what we're looking for. It's the next day, installation day. It was supposed to be really nice today, but uh, it was kind of nastier today. It's going to be nicer tomorrow, but I just want to get started. <clears throat> so. 
one thing I do need to fix is the struts they don't hold anymore so we're just gonna have to put a little brace on that's my uh, little prop stick there so I'm probably only gonna show or explain one side it's pretty self-explanatory with uh, everything else that I do but first off we're gonna go ahead and take this little air air dam thing off and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a screwdriver and pop each each one of these things off and it comes right out really easy I've taken these things off so many times that some of them are broke but pretty easy don't mind the mess of the engine but I do got from the car but we're getting in the winter now as you can see, the filters are quite a bit dirty. I was going to replace them when I replaced the thermostat in here, but uh, I was getting the filters anyways because they're not lining up. These clips are broke. This one you can see it's open. So just for this, we're just going to go ahead and replace the whole thing. We're going to go ahead and just unclip it now. Right off there. I'm kind of just winging this too. I mean, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty easy. I'm not, I'm not reading the, the directions right now because it's an intake. So, unclip that. Now there's 10 millimeter here, and there's one underneath this plastic that he's got to lift up, and this guy will come off. I went ahead and plugged off the sensor, unplugged the sensor, and we're just gonna take a screwdriver to pop this clip right here out and then of course just undo all this all the hose clamps man I can't get the camera up and we're gonna unclip this hose and right here and it should just pop off talk this side through the other side is pretty much the same the bracket to bolt it down is a little different Pop that right off. There's the bottom end there. We'll go ahead and pop this guy out. Just like that. No. Just be careful taking this off. You don't want to stick it out. There's not a whole lot of time there. There we go, we'll be careful with this guy, so I'm just gonna lay it right here. Exactly the same uh, same way it should fit right in. Oh, this guy should pop right off. Bottom piece, and there's Driver's side has a straight weld bracket, which is this long right here. I can't pull it off. Straight long bracket, I think that's what that's saying. And all this passenger, so we're gonna go ahead and driver's side first. Okay. Fits good, yeah, it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this first. Those little hex heads. Yeah. Yeah, little Allen wrench. Allen wrench screws, if you guys can see that there. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bracket off real quick, guys. Let's see if this is 
supposed to. So this is gonna go on that right there, walk on the back side. All right, we're gonna remove the big, bigger ground cable here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the washer on here this time. So that way, we know it makes a great connection with the ground wire here. Put the washer. That's kinda cool, I kinda like that cool vibration out there. Might not even clamp down good enough, but we shall see. Oh, there you have it, guys. There's, there's one side. Uh, you could pull this off, and I don't like that. But that's even with a tightened, and yeah, I mean, it holds up tight thing right here. I don't know. That's where it goes. That's where I see the other pictures. This side's all plugged in. I'm gonna move the car out of the garage and knock out the other side. But I'll get. I'll show you guys the finished product. But yeah, everything's tight. Driver side. Passenger side should be easier, hopefully. That took a little bit longer than I thought. All right, guys, I'm all done. I just went ahead and rushed it. Uh, this other side, again, never turns out the way you're gonna. You pay for what you get. Maybe if I spend a little more money and got some really, really nice ones, it'll turn out, but overall, it's not too bad. You know, you're gonna go high performance. I'd definitely get at least a different brand or, or a different one, maybe the actual cold air. These are just short rams. Like I said, they're just replacements because the clips broke on the OEM one, so why not try them out? It's on there. I didn't know if I needed this or not. Kind of put pressure on the filter. It actually will have the air go in and then redirect it straight to the filters because it was for the original air box. So might as well get some colder air in there. But yeah, so this side, the little hose it came with right here. Sorry, it's getting dark. So that's why I was trying to hurry up. Camera quality is probably not that good. But it came with this. It was nowhere near long enough. Both of the hoses it came with of this size, kind of crappy. So I took the OEM one, I had to cut it short. Maybe I'll show you in a different video, but yeah, I had to cut it shorter. Didn't want to cut into the OEM stuff just in case, but it is what it is. Um, my camera's kind of spazzing out, so I don't know if it's gonna turn out good, guys. My camera may have messed up for the rain. I don't know, we will figure that out. Uh, but anyways, before it gets worse, I'm gonna go ahead and test drive it. And I'll let you guys know in the next video how it is. If this camera doesn't do this, if it's spazzing out, I'm sorry. Anyways, you guys, go ahead, take care. Peace out.